Hey guys, Nikki Noble here. So today we're going to learn how to cut energetic cords. But before we talk about cutting an energetic cord, what is an energetic cord? So when I'm doing readings and scanning people's energy, a lot of times I can see an energetic cord from the person that I'm reading to another person. Energetic cords are kind of like this kind of little gross thing that happens when we have sort of relationships that are a little codependent or somebody who's a little like needy on us or it could happen from an ex. Uh, that's what I see a lot. I had a lot of that. Also, we have cords that are um, stopping us and that are kind of closing up some of our chakras sometimes if somebody's had an experience where they are um, not being able to like share their truth, we can sometimes see a cord wrap around their throat. But today, more than anything, I wanna think about the cords that are attached to people that we don't we don't wanna be attached to anymore, that we really want to separ create some separation. It usually happens when we have a lack of energetic boundaries that people will throw their cords at us or we throw cords at other people. So if you were trying to let go of an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend, or you're really trying to separate yourself from an old friend or a family member, this would be a really great practice. So first step is to close your eyes and imagine yourself scanning your energetic body. So your energetic body is your aura, it's the, you know, kind of almost like a shadow around you and scanning that to see if you see any energetic, any energetic cords. They kind of look like umbilical cords that are just kind of floating in their gray. You, you know, checking, do you see it in your head, in your third eye? Do you see any by your throat? Any from your heart, in your back, your stomach, legs? Kind of scanning the whole body with your mind's eye, eyes closed, really imagining the energetic body, imagining scanning from your head all the way down, and just seeing if you see any sort of energetic cords. If you do, which you probably do, we're gonna call in Archangel Michael, who is, he's like the negative sucking energy Archangel. I really love him. I bring him into all my sessions just to clear myself and make sure that I'm not attracting any sort of negative energy or that they know that they're not allowed in my space. So we're gonna ask him to come because if any of you remember, uh, maybe those of you who grew up Catholic, that he had like this big sword that he's all about like getting rid of the, the, the devil and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna ask him to help us chop those energetic cords. So after we spot one, we're going to call in Archangel Michael with our eyes closed. Please come in. I'm gonna call him in for this session too while you're here. And we're gonna ask him please to release us of the energetic cords that we do no, that we no longer need, that do not serve us anymore. Thank you so much. It is done. And we're gonna imagine him coming with his energetic cord, his energetic sword to there cut our cords off and as he's cutting them we imagine the cord just going off into the light after that is done thank you so much it is done we are going to imagine a clean shower from source source energy from god right so we're going to ask to all the bright light all the healing source energy the cleanse of source energy to come through us, to come through our energetic body and to give us a nice bath, a nice energetic bath and cleanse and closing up those areas where the um, cords were and closing them up with this new energy, letting it go through our body, thinking it and just believing that it is done. All right. That's a little tutorial on how you can release energetic cords. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Until next time.